talk us through your teaching role then, Nolte, or how did you get involved with teaching? And what age are these, uh, are, the, are the, the children that you're teaching? I decided to just uh, give my free time over to the church, help them out with a uh, doing some SEO on their website. Um, they have a thrift store, a nonprofit thrift store here in the community that pretty much n no one really knows about unless you go to that church. Yeah. So I was like, uh, let's let's try to see if we can get people in the community to, you know, be aware that this exists. Mm -hmm. And I did their website. And then Father Lewis comes up to me and he was like, do you know Mrs. Amarante? And I'm like, I have I do not know who that is. He was like, well, you're going to go ahead and give her a call. Uh, here's her phone number. She she needs what you do. And I'm like, what? So I'm thinking digital marketing. Yeah. You know, I'm like, yeah, digital marketing. Okay, cool. I'll give a call. Um, so obviously there was a miscommunication there. She was like, no, I'm looking for a teaching role, like <laughs> for uh, technology and like digital innovation and media is what we changed it to. Um, and after talking to her, I was just like, you know, I don't know, maybe this is something that, you know, my experience and what I've went through and things that I've learned uh, and not only in digital marketing, but also entrepreneurship. I, I knew that entrepreneurship was something that was in me prior to digital marketing because I, I ran a recording studio for a while. I, I've always tried to find a way to do something on the side, like a nine to five was never enough. And I was always trying to find something, something else, something mine, you know, something that's, that's for me. And in this, I want to teach entrepreneurship, but I also want to teach that, uh, you know, sometimes it's okay. The, the, the world also needs the people who go into the nine to five job to work there, do that. This is necessary as well. And if you're going to do it, do it. And also while like do this while knowing how a business runs, um, the importance that you bring, that what you bring as a worker to that business. Um, so never underestimate your role or your position, no matter what it is. But really, I get into my classroom kindergarten through eighth grade. So uh, it's a wide range. So the younger students, it's just teaching them basics on computers, uh, programs, software, how it runs, opening, closing, saving, uh, making sure you know, just basic procedures. Uh, then as they get older, then we start getting into uh, talking about entrepreneurship, talking about digital marketing, talking about how a search engine, you know, how, how it works, how it ranks, um, how websites are necessary. A website is not just a, a business card. Uh, a website is, is an extension of what your company is. Who you're, it's, it's just a market front online. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely interesting. I've, I, this will be my second year as a teacher, so it'll be, it'll be good. That's fascinating that, that your entrepreneurial initiative led you to have the confidence to say yes to something like that. And now you're thoroughly enjoying it and you're in a role. I think, yeah, <clears throat> certainly in England, I find that because we have this focus on qualifications, not everybody who is an expert at, at what they're doing wants to teach, right? And not everybody who yeah. wants to teach has the relevant skill set to teach certain subjects. And I think there's an important mix for a lot of people. Like there are people out there like yourself who are gifted at teaching, who just naturally have an ability to impart knowledge on the next generation, who maybe in the UK certainly don't get the opportunity to do that because they don't have the relevant teaching qualifications. And actually you probably find that they taught just as yeah. good, if not better than the teachers that are already out there, as well as considering, you know, the, the curriculum that we have, especially here in the UK, like I think we've, we've moved on some, but it's still very restrictive. And I'll look at some of the things my son's learning about. And then yeah. now and again, he'll say something that, that absolutely blows my mind that he hadn't been taught that at school in this day and age. You know, I think there's so much out there, Yeah, so much out there, but fantastic to be teaching the next generation about business, right? I think it's important for them to uh, see part of the, the responsibility of being an adult, being a productive member of community, 